Hi there friends, welcome once again to Prophecy Update where we look at current events in the light of ancient Bible prophecy. I'll be with you for the next few minutes and today friends I've got some very serious things to talk about. I don't want to alarm you especially if you live in the UK. Always remember the Bible says that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And one of the most oft-repeated phrases throughout the Bible is, do not fear. And if you're a believer in the Lord Jesus, that is a word for us in these days. Do not fear. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. So I'm going to share with you some, well, what could be alarming news. I don't want to be alarmist, but just pray over this, my dear friends. I'll leave the link what I'm sharing below the video. It's actually coming from the Hal Turner radio show from the United States. It is as follows. On September the 12th, 2024, at least three submarines known as Project 885 Yasin class of the Russian Northern Fleet armed with Zikron hypersonic missiles left their home base at Severomorsk and headed toward the Atlantic Ocean. Now, this was the same day British Prime Minister Keir Starmer departed the UK for a meeting with Joe Biden in Washington DC to discuss granting permission to Ukraine to attack Russia with West-supplied long-range missiles. And according to the authoritative military expert Mikhail Kordarnok, Kordarnok, these submarines left their home base and headed for the Atlantic Ocean for a reason, especially considering the fact that this happened at the very moment the West began to declare it was going to allow Ukraine to use Western-supplied long-range weapons against military installations inside Russia. Kordarnok expressed confidence that these submarines, these nuclear submarines, are already off the coast of Britain, waiting for the order to attack. According to Kardonok, if British Storm Shadow cruise missiles fly toward Russia, these submarines will destroy the facilities of the British Division of the Pan-European Missile Systems Company, uh, MBDA, specifically the company facilities in Stevenage, Bristol and Bolton in the UK. Citing his own sources in the Russian Defence Ministry, Kordarnok also confirmed the Russians have a clear plan to deter NATO from retaliatory actions. According to him, immediately after the destruction of the facilities of the MDBA company inside the UK, Russia will launch a demonstration nuclear strike on one of the areas of the Atlantic Ocean or the North Sea near the coast of Britain. Kordarnok expressed confidence that only after this will British authorities finally understand it is time for them to stop escalating the situation over Ukraine. Since the next time a nuclear strike can already be inflicted on London, Brussels, that is, in Belgium, the NATO HQ, and on Washington DC. So you, my American friends, are not immune from this threat. And in related news this morning, September the 16th, 2024, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered an increase in the size of the Russian army by 180,000 new troops, which means now the Russian army will be 1.5 million men strong. And that, my friends, is one heck of an army to stand up against especially when you consider Russia is friends with North Korea, China, Iran, Turkey, 
all the people that would we would seem to be are against the West. It looks pretty dire unless somebody is elected to the White House who can put a stop to this threat, this madness. Now, I'm not saying it's this man, former President Donald Trump, I don't know. But who would you think is more probable if elected to stop this possible third world war, which the neocons and the haters of God seem to be wanting to push toward some kind of a conflict that would bring in their vaunted new world order, their global government. It seems that they can only bring in a global government through a crisis which would make everybody you know, put their hands up and say, this is what we want. Or would it be Kamala Harris and Waltz? You have to tell me, which do you think would be better equipped to sit in the White House and talk to Vladimir Putin and NATO to stop them having a third world war and bringing in a global government, all neatly packaged up with a global ID, digital of course, and a digital financial system. I'm not saying who it would be, I have no idea. I know lots of people think Donald Trump is the Antichrist. Again, I have no idea. I still think that that personage is probably waiting in the wings to make his entrance. Who do you think, my friend, would be better to be head of the West, as it were, and stop a third world war? Do you think it would be Donald Trump or Kamala Harris and Waltz? Your choice, my American friends, because in the end of the day, my friends, it's you in America who vote. It's you in America who put the most powerful man or woman into the White House. Who do you think would be better equipped to stop a third world war? And at the same time, my dear friends, we all know that the world is turning against Israel. And we can see the Gog Magog war even perhaps just hovering in the background waiting to take place as Russia moves down to take hold of the oil fields of Israel and Saudi Arabia and the rest of the Middle East. Interesting times indeed my friend. I'm asking you to pray about these days. Please pray because at the end of the day you and I know who read our Bibles. The last days is not going to be centred on London or Moscow or Peking or North Korea or Washington DC or Paris. It's going to be focused on the Middle East. It's going to be focused on Israel. It's going to be focused on Jerusalem. It's going to be focused on the Temple Mount and the man who even now is waiting in the wings to make his appearance, the Antichrist and the coming Third Temple. Friends, a little while ago I wrote a little book called Blood Moons, Donald Trump, Jerusalem and the 2029 asteroid Apophis. Now it's been selling really well. Now in that book I made some amazing discoveries not just in the bible but in historic events current events and i'd really like you to have a look at it please take a look i'll leave an ad after this video you can have a look and see what you think let me make it clear i am no prophet what i speak about as possibly coming in the future concerning donald trump and the coming election etc i could be totally wrong so please take a look, it is selling really well. But let me also say this. Friends, if you are not a Christian, now is the time for you to turn to Jesus Christ. 2,000 years ago, he died on the cross for you, for your sins and for mine. He was the only pure, sinless man ever to have walked the planet. 
and he died in your place and mine. And on the third day, he rose again. But when he died, he died to take your sins and my sins. And that is the only way you and I can find forgiveness from God. Jesus said he is the only way to the Father. Jesus is your only hope. So please turn to him today. Ask him for forgiveness. Follow him from this day on. Find a church where you can become a follower of Jesus, reading your Bible regularly. Get yourself baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the Bible says you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Follow him today. And when he comes back, you know where I'll see you, my friend. When he comes back to collect us, right before he judges the planet, I'll see you in the clouds. Thank you so much for watching. Here comes the ad. I'll speak to you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye. A groundbreaking link discovered between Israel, Jerusalem, the Jewish people, President Donald Trump, the coming temple and the asteroid Apophis, some researchers believe could be the prophesied end times wormwood of Revelation 8, the mountain that falls from the sky to earth, causing devastating destruction. These and other historical and future prophesied events of the last days have been discovered to be linked in an incredible series of days all divisible by God's holy number seven, concealed until now in the timing of Israel's God.